thank you for stopping by the channel. This is Chuck, outside Screwball, and old Howie's uh, coming to see me. Huh? You shouldn't be back in here, buddy. Huh? Huh? Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. You're on. You've been. You got on camera. Okay. Go. 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 Thank you. So, uh, title of this video is Shop Safety Modifications. Go, Howard. Go. Out. Come on. Get out. Go. <laughs> Shoot. Shop Safety Modifications. Um, as you saw my previous video, Shop Safety Tragic Accident. Um, just a quick update on my good friend and mentor, Chewy. Uh, I just actually got off the phone with him. Um, he's doing pretty good, all in all, spirits-wise. Uh, he wants to... Uh, wanted me to express thank you to the comments, the texts, the mail, uh, phone calls he's been getting. Uh, it does uh, really help his spirits. Um, Pain-wise, he's um, still in pain, but not so much that he can't uh, tolerate it, I guess. He is taking some pain medicine, but uh, he's not... Uh, trying to live on it either. So he's doing good, all in all. And uh, we probably talked for about 15, 20 minutes today. So I showed him my modification here and uh, tried to show some build. I took some video. You may see some a little bit of build video. It's one of those things I got out here and started just winging it together. And uh, I think it's going to work well. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. And as always, uh, please be safe in the shop. Take care. Now we're over at the mill. So I've got a piece of angle iron I cut and then I uh, made a block to attach this hinge to. And so I'm gonna drill and tap for uh, quarter 20 panhead bolts to put this down on. So we'll get that done real quick here. Then we can move on back to the, uh, to the mill. I did a wood mock-up first, you'll see it over there, just a block of wood with the, the hinge on it to work out some of the dimensions. But uh, let me get a drill and tap and we'll get going here. So I thought I'd show you my closing lathe. Get my 
by the camera here. The closing lathe doesn't have a brake or an e-stop, but let's see. I like to put something in the chuck. Uh, nothing round here. Come on. I don't like running the chuck without something in it. I've seen them. I've seen the chuck jaws back out. But I'm not going to run it that long. But safety first, right? So, pausing here. Power on. And if you want to engage the spindle, pull up on the lever. It's got a clutch. The clutch actually somewhat works as a brake. Probably I could adjust it so that it, it even stopped faster. Two handles on it, depending upon which side of the carriage you're on. It would, it would be great if it had a foot brake and dynamically stopped the spindle, but it doesn't have that. So with that said, let's go down and look at the Monarch. Well, I did a modification today to the Monarch. Let me step around the camera again. So the Monarch lathe, again, I prefer to have something in the chuck. Chuck. Oh, we're not going to run it very long. Eh, don't break your own rules. Okay, move you around a little bit. Got something in the chuck. And you can see a yellow stripe down there. Well, today I added a paddle switch to this unit. This doesn't have, this is a 1953 machine. Of course, it does have an emergency stop here. Turn the button, press it, and you got power. You slam that button shuts power down. Up here, gauge the spindle, no, no means to shut power off of top of it. So I added this guy in today, and when I'm standing here, I can simply just touch it with my knee and power down the machine. The interesting thing that the Monarch does have, let's fire it back up, It was running, and the he hit the e stop by hitting with my leg again. And generally, he was standing right about here, so I I killed the power to the machine. But if I go to start it back up, if you notice, I didn't take it out of gear, or the spindle was running. It won't start. That's a nice safety feature that they designed into this. You got to get it back over and then she'll start. So, just a little touch of it, and bang, it's off. So, I'm really happy that I uh, put this uh, improvement in. I may, this is like the first, just the beta, just built it. I may add a spring that holds it over here, but I do like the fact that I can swing it out of the way when I'm not using the lathe. And basically when I turn it on, I have to do something with it. So anyway, thought I'd uh, show this uh, safety uh, addition to this machine. Um, as you know, my good friend Chewy, uh, he's recovering and uh, his accident uh, prompted me to uh, do this on my machine. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. I appreciate it. And I, please be safe in your own shop and look at anything safe that you can do.